In this demonstration I'm going to discuss what are known as domain functions. A domain function will perform a calculation such as an average or a sum perhaps on a field or a set of records in a query or a table. Common examples would be things like a sum, a count, a lookup, finding the first value, finding the last, the average, the max, the minimum, that kind of thing. Now if we look at this first example here what I'm doing is I'm going to find every employee who has an ID of 5. Now we're using the function called dlookup. We type an equal sign in front of it. These are just ordinary text boxes by the way. We put an equal sign in front of it. We go to the properties. We can see the control source has an equal sign. And then we have dlookup. The field name that we're looking for which is last name what table it is, employees, and the criteria we're entering is employee ID equals 5. And notice the speech marks and commas that we have to put in to get this working. So now if we run this, it returns the value Buchanan. And if I go to my table, employees, if we look at employee ID 5, we can see that it is Buchanan. The last name is Buchanan. So employee ID 5, last name Buchanan, so it works. Now if we look at the next one, what I'm doing here is I'm counting the number of employees in the table. We're doing a similar thing. We put an equal sign at the beginning. Um, we use the dlookup function and we say count everything in the employees table. The asterisk there means everything. So now if we run it, it gives us a count of nine employees are held in the employees table. So if we look in the employees table, we can see at the bottom here we have nine records. And also here, auto number being nine. So as you can see, just one line of code there in our text box returns a result set So we go back into design. Now this next one, it counts the customers in WA, Washington. So we're using something here called dcount. And again we have what we're actually counting, the contact name, the table, customers, and then we put in a bit of criteria here, region equals WA. So if we run that now, we can see it's returned three for us, three results. Now if we were to look in our table, customers, we're looking for region, we can see here, we're looking for WA, or if we were to sort probably see it easier. We can see here at the bottom we have three WAs. So again it worked. We have three WAs. Now here I'm getting the minimum value of the product sales. So we're using another function called dmin here. What are we looking for? We're looking for the product sales field and we're looking in the table or query called sales by category. Run that. The minimum value of the product sales, 68. If we were to open that table, actually a query called sales by category. We have to sort that now. There it is, a minimum value at the bottom there, 68. We're going to be doing the same thing for the next one, but we're going to find the maximum. We know it's 2,580. So here, further down, there's the maximum value of the product sales, 2,580. And all that was doing was using a similar criteria, but instead of using dmin, we use dmax to get the maximum value. 
Now in this one I'm getting the, the sum total of the product sales. We're using dsum here. We're looking at the product sales field and we're looking in the query or table called sales by category. And that gives us a total here 13,823 0.32. final one, I'm going to get the unit price times the quantity. Again we're looking D, we're using DLOOKUP and we're putting a, an expression here at the beginning now. So we're taking the unit price column, adding a multiplication symbol in and we're multiplying it by, multiplying it by the quantity and all this is happening in our table or query called order details and we're actually going to be looking at the criteria here of order ID equals 10248 and that's what it gives us, it gives us 168 so by using these domain functions we can quickly return a result without writing lots and lots of code and we can use these same domain functions in our forms, reports and queries so those are a few quick examples of how to use domain functions within Microsoft Access.